VR Psych Lab at the Institute for Creative Technologies. It focuses on ways that we can use simulation technology and multimedia for very important human purposes, mental health, rehabilitation, assessment. How are you doing today, Lieutenant Rocco? And training I'm clinicians right. how to interact with I'll patients more effectively okay. by using virtual patients. I'd like to hear about it. There is not much to tell. The PTSD work involves the use of virtual reality to deliver therapy. We can put people in a simulation of Iraq or Afghanistan and put them in environments that are similar to where they might have run into trouble. We use the simulation as a way to stimulate the patient's memory um, in a way that helps them to process things that they probably weren't able to even talk about with family members or friends when they returned home. Over the last 15 years, clinical virtual reality has begun to grow to address everything from ADHD to Alzheimer's disease. Uh, we're doing work in each of those areas. So we've developed a virtual classroom that's a tool for testing kids with attention process problems. We're also now embarking on a research program to design virtual characters that people with autism can begin to practice their interactions with and develop personal relationships with that hopefully will benefit them in the real world. So we develop these kinds of ways to create virtual reality environments that help excite and motivate people to do physical exercise that's very boring um, and, and get them to, to have fun while they're doing it. Over the years, we've seen an improved understanding in the healthcare community uh, regarding the use of technology for clinical applications. It's a way to extend the skills of a clinician and to use technology in a thoughtful way to make a difference for patients.